of all of the productivity tools in our toolkit, one has reached the status of indispensable. What is it? Asana. Why? I have five reasons. I'll share them with you today on Dottotech. Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? At Dottotech, we make technology easy so you can do more. More what? Well, bowling's always fun if you pick the right people to bowl with. Today we're going to be talking about a tool which has grown to become indispensable here at Dottotech. It is Asana, our team-based task manager, which has really grown into be a full-fledged project manager for us here. Now I'm going to walk through what I consider to be the five main aspects that make Asana so essential to us. And, and as a backdrop, I'm going to show you our, our production process, how we use it within our team environment. I, I think that gives you the most context of how it may fit for you. It's so rich and so full of features that just doing a walkthrough of feeds and speeds I don't think would be very productive. So instead I'll show you how we use it every day here at Dottotech. So we're going to look at the features that it has, the format that it brings to the table, how it allows to format our projects, uh, the flexibility and how we've modified our production process and Asana to work together. We're going to talk about how well it integrates with mobility and finally wrap up with integration because it has to work with our other tools. So by the time we're done with this, my goal is for you to really realize what Asana brings to the table and then set that against your own needs and see if perhaps it might work for you. All right, this is actually my Asana install that you're seeing in front of you. I'll quickly take you through what you see here on the screen. Is we've got down the left hand side is the navigation bar that allows you to go from project to project and into the different main areas of Asana. Of course, our working surface is here right out in the center. Now I'm using Asana. One of the keys to how I use Asana is the fact that we have, are able to set up a format called boards which you see here. Uh, typically speaking, to-do lists are lists and to-do apps work in list form with the notable exception of a tool like Trello, uh, but Asana allows you to work in either lists or in boards. For what we do, creating piecework like we do with our videos, this board metaphor works brilliantly. So we've got, this is actually the uh, kind of command central where we create all of our videos from. So when I, I've got these templates here that allow me to create uh, tasks, I'll show you more on that in a moment. The different ideas, so this is embryonic ideas for different videos that I might be creating in the near future. This is production. These are the videos that I am actually in production in at this moment. And here's the one that we're working on today, the keys to Asana right here. This is the video I am working on now. Isn't that kind of meta? Yes, it is. These are the videos that we have published and oh, I've actually got one that I published today, which is this one here. Let's get this one. Market is complete because we finished it today and I published it. I'm going to drag it over into the published section and then I have my archives. So that's the beauty. What you just saw there is one of the beautiful features that's built into Asana. The ability for us to be able to take any task and move it from one place to another. Now these aren't just simple tasks which are one-off tasks. Each of these tasks are kind of mini projects in themselves. So when I go to create a new video, this is the process that we go through. I've created a task template. If we open it up, you can see this is what's in a task in the board view. I've got a title, I've got who it's assigned to and a due date. All of this is of course very editable, a description, and then all of these are subtasks to our tasks. So we can nest all of, all of our tasks with other tasks beneath it, which basically turns it into a project manager. Because each of these tasks, everything on it, can have a person, here's this is assigned to me, and a date assigned to each of the subtasks or tasks. Plus, you have a conversation thread that's attached to that task and the ability to integrate attachments and other uh, kind of digital assets to each of the tasks. So this environment, this gives us a really robust ability to be able to create, um, to be able to create projects uh, quickly, efficiently, and manage them through from the beginning, from from the from from conception to delivery. So here's what happens for us: is when I've got a new idea for a new uh, video is I open this video task template and I clone the task. I basically copy the task. When I copy the task, what it does is it allows me to take everything that's within this task, this, this, this template. Now this is kind of a hack that we've done that allow us to work. There are no templates built in to Asana, so that's why we do it this way. 
but it allows me to then to have everybody who's each step of our production process I've created as subtasks with the proper person assigned to each of those tasks. But there's no dates attached and there's no other information in, these, in, this, in this template right now. I do that and then what I do is I incorporate and I add, let's go to the one that we're working on right now, the five keys to Asana. I add due, due dates, I add any contextual information. And actually as I write a script and as I work out the kind of the architecture for my script, I will often write it right here in the description rather than writing it somewhere else. There you down below here now, I say uh, when the outline is done, and I'll say the outline is going to be done for this one today because the outline and the video is going to be recorded. And then I can go through and for each of the steps of the process, I can add a due date. So if I'm going to have this video recorded today, which I will have, I can then tell Liz that I want this video to be primarily edited by Friday. And if it's edited by Friday, the thumbnails for it will have to be ready by Friday. So you see, I go through it all, all this. Let's go down. Let's, let's give Sophia a task too. So Sophia, I want the blog post to be ready by next Monday. Although that's a holiday here in Canada. I don't think it's a holiday in the States yet. So I'm going to give that to her for Monday. So you see, we go through and assign all of these assignments. Once I've assigned each of the tasks in each of my team members' versions of Asana, they'll be getting notification that they have tasks that are due that day. So I don't have to call them, I don't have to go anywhere else. All of their assignments is effectively are gonna be done here. And as they complete their assignments, they will, I will see them being checked off and I'll actually get notifications, either in desktop notifications or by email, or if I check here in Asana, that the different tasks are done. So I can see the status of any of our projects at any point as we go along. So that's the assignment of tasks. Now, when you have a nice repeating project, like the one that's one's producing our videos, this is a dream come true because it just streamlines the entire production process and it makes sure that no step is missed. Now, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go into one that we already published here. Let's go into this one here, which was the one that we did early this week on Google Drive. And I wanna show you some of the other features that are built in. So what some of the other things that I did for, that we do, excuse me, for each video, is you see here that we've got videos and zip files. These are in Dropbox. So what happens is when I record the video, I do a rough cut of each video. I basically cut it for time. And I take that and I export it as just a 640 by 480 video. Why do I do that? I do that so Sophia, our copywriter, can get a head start at writing the blog post that's going to be set against the video. And then she also has access to all of my notes that I put in the, uh, in the, in the comments area as well. So I then attach that video to this task, and I also zip the edited video that I, the, that I pieced up, uh, which is a large file. It's like 16 gigabytes or 18 gigabytes usually in size. I upload that to Dropbox, and I put the link in here so that, uh, so that Liz can then download the editing file to create the final video. So this is all a process that we've worked out over a small period, a short period of time that is working tremendously effectively for our production flow. So Liz is in London, England. So she doesn't have to wait for me to be in the morning for me to email a file to her or anything else. And when she's ready to start working, once she's been assigned the, uh, the due date for a video, I never assign the due dates until I've already uploaded all of the assets that everybody needs in order to accomplish the task. So we do that at each step of the way. Plus, we also have the ability to add comments each step of the way. So here, Liz has asked me a few questions on this particular video. I've responded. I sent her back some notes. I took a look at the first pass of the video. Typically speaking, it gets uploaded twice, where Liz will do a, do a uh, edit a final version. I'll go through it. I'll find a few changes, a few cuts, a few things that I want to change. I'll send them to her with time codes, and then she will re-edit them and upload it. And typically speaking, that's all we need to do in order to publish one of our videos. But that conversation is all managed here in the comments area for each of the videos. So you can see how effectively this tool can end up working for a small team like us. Now I'm going to jump around on my five uh, reasons that we like Asana because I've just shown you the uh, conversation manager or the communication manager that's built into Asana, which uh, has some nice notifications built in. I get an email anytime Liz sends me a notification. But that wasn't working too well for me back when we first started. It was actually a point of concern because any conversations that we were having about videos that we were working on were happening in Asana. All of the rest of our team communications happen in the communications tool Slack. So we were actually having fractured conversations. Sometimes I'd be talking to Liz in Slack 
and sometimes I'd be talking to her in Asana. And you can see here, Asana's actually got a full inbox uh, that has all of our different, uh, all of our different communication going back and forth with all of our different team members. But I didn't like having to jump back and forth. Fortunately, an integration has come along. This is one of the other real benefits of this tool. And that is integrating Asana with Slack. Here is our Slack integration right here. And this is the conversation thread that I have, I'm having with Liz at this particular time. But if I go down here, do you notice down here at the bottom, we've got a new channel, and this is our Asana conversations. So what's, I've set up an integration in Asana to integrate with Slack, and now anytime there's a comment in Asana, it appears here in my Slack thread as well, so that I can follow and reply to. See, I can reply and I can like, I can let people know that I've seen them. I can manage all of those conversations and I can stay in Slack. So if we think about those main reasons that I was talking about in Slack, the features, obviously, you've seen the feature set of the way that the task manager works, the fact that we can format it by laying it out as a, in our case, as a board as opposed to a list, which allows us to move projects through the natural progression of each project. Uh, it's obviously a very flexible tool, allowing us to modify things like be creating our own templates and building our own workflows, and it integrates with the tools that we wanna use. I don't necessarily wanna carry on all of my conversations in Asana. The fact that Asana has a Slack, a native Slack integration, which is free, it's just something that you have to install, uh, and that allows me to manage that conversation in Slack. Now, let me hook up my phone here, and I'll show you the last piece of the puzzle, which is mobility. Okay, I have my iPhone now connected to the system, and there in my iPhone, I have the mobile version of Asana available to me. Now, it does the best job of kind of keeping you on top of your existing tasks, uh, but if we go here, look, the project file, you can see, let's go into our videos. You see here that we've got access to the same board that we have access to in the desktop version. If I wanna look at the same video that we're just looking at right now, I can go in here, and if I want to edit the task, I go into the edit menu, and there I can add into my notes, say, I can add, let's uh, use voice recognition. Be sure to add an excellent wrap to this video. I'm gonna save that. So I don't do a lot of project management in my smartphone, but it's nice to know I can if I need to. Where this really comes in valuable is in the in the conversation area, is managing all of your is managing your inbox and managing all of your comments uh, with your with your team members because you, you, it's available wherever you are. But let's just jump back right now into and see if it's already synced. Yeah, it's already synced. Be sure to add an excellent wrap to this video. So there it is. The feature set that Asana brings is awesome. The formatting capabilities is it allows us tremendous flexibility. We've got a mobility option, and it integrates with a wide variety of other uh, apps. Most importantly for us at this point is the Slack integration, but it has many other integrations. I'm not sitting here and saying Asana is the best team task manager slash project manager on the market, because I don't know if it is. There are just too many for me to make that call. But what I do know is for our particular purposes, and you've just seen a small snapshot of how we use Asana, it is a tool which has become indispensable. It would literally take dynamite to get me to use another team task manager at this point, although I should never say never because there are truly some amazing other tools out there. But for now, if you are looking for a task manager that really has growth potential, flexibility, formatting capabilities, mobility options, and integration, I think you'd be very well served looking at Asana. And oh, by the way, Everything that I've shown you, everything I've shown you today is available in the free version of Asada. We haven't even talked about what's available in the premium version. I would love to hear your thoughts and comments on Asana or the team task managers that you use. If this video was helpful, please, a share would be greatly appreciated. And if it was very useful, why don't you consider subscribing to our channel? Make sure you hit that notification bell when you do so that you hear about all our new videos that we upload here at Dottotech. Your comments are appreciated. I read every one in YouTube comments, even if I don't have time to reply to each and every one. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.